Thank you guys for tuning in. With Steve Cardenas, Rocky the Red Power Ranger. And I guess this gentleman's got some questions for me. Yeah, my name is Glenn from uh, the Nerdy Life Show, you know. Uh, I don't have a long intro like that, but hey, you know, we all get somewhere. Um, don't mind me, I'm still kind of starstruck over here. I grew up watching you as a kid, you know. I'm just a regular old fits a I just got a letter. I got. I went to one audition, I heard about this show. They were looking for martial artists. I was a martial arts teacher, so I just decided I'd go try out one time and just see what it was all about. So I went to an open, open audition. And then I got the part. It was really weird. <laughs> that just answered my first question right there. Too. There you go. Um, I would like to know. So, um, how did you feel like coming you into the, the show? Like, okay, so I was familiar question. with the show because it had already been on for a year. I came on the show in season two, yeah. and uh, I was. Um, yeah, we're waiting. For her. Um, I was uh, very nervous because I knew the show and I, I knew that I was replacing like you know, pretty much an icon from the show. So, uh, anyway. Uh, there was, I, I didn't know anything about acting. Everything was all on the job training. So um, that was definitely um, a lot for me to get used to. So I was doing a lot to step out of my comfort zone and get comfortable in front of the camera because that was something I'd never done before. So. Because back in the 90s, people didn't have cameras the way everybody's got cameras now. You know what I mean? Like, you'd actually have to go out and spend thousands of dollars for a camcorder and carry it with you everywhere. And it's not like what everybody has now. So you're not used to seeing yourself on camera, you know, generally. Like that. Relax. Yeah, so it was weird. Click on the top. It was very weird back then. Especially, like, coming into what the show was like at its, like, highest. Like, it was blown out crazy all over the place. I mean, did you ever expect yourself to enter in at, like, that high? that it was in especially well, I mean, into like a the well, full length movie too. Right. Well, that was the thing I didn't expect. I didn't know there was going to be a movie. I got the day I got hired, they said we're going to do the TV show and in a month and a half we're going to stop production to go work on the movie in Australia. So I was like, "Oh, wow." Yes, we had a lot of people. Yeah, my whole life changed in a uh, very 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 short period of time. The Funko sure Pop. Okay. I mean, like you okay. became, you know, you just took okay. it a really big we have going the, in. The 406 or the 412 to a lot of kids growing up, especially like? yours truly. <laughs> Thank you very Thank you. much for that. Thank you guys. Um, so, for the longevity that you had on the show, going from Mighty Morphin Red and going to Zero and all that blue, I mean, overall, what was like your, like, if you had to have like one highlight um, there in the show, like, what would be like one that stands out to you? Yeah, I mean, there were so many highlights. So, um, I mean, one of the big highlights, obviously, was working on that movie. You know, that, that was a big budget production movie with 20th Century Fox. So, that was pretty incredible. Um, and the fact that we did it in Australia, and then when we did the big movie, movie premiere. It was really cool. So you know the we were the stars yeah. and all the famous actors were bringing their kids to our movie. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I meet all kinds of famous people that were like coming to see us. So that was an interesting twist. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> that's cool, man. So in your time, if you had to choose between one of Mighty Morphin Red and Zeal Blue, which one would you feel that's your that's favorite? That's, no, that's a good question. So, um, to answer your question, red or blue? Um, so, without a doubt, the Z uh, Red Ranger costume is the most iconic, so that's my favorite, so no question about it. Um, but Zeo was actually my favorite season to work on because I feel like they gave Rocky his more to do. It was like his character was more developed, I think, so uh, it was more of a fun season to work on as opposed to just being the guy that replaced the other guy. 
you know, with the, having those big shoes. Tariq, but just let us know when you are sent for Zio. He was finally his own character, so I felt like that was really like, you know, giving me the opportunity to come to my own event. So. Build his own identity. Yeah, right. Build his own legacy exactly. from right there. Um, yeah, that was the last question. And Steve, I think it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you guys, man. Uh, pleasure to meet you, man. Pleasure Thanks, yeah. Mine. Thank you. Thanks. Hey guys, so you know you know me, Jay Nova from the Nerdy Life Show, welcoming our new host, our new co-host for right now, because you know Sammy's prego. Welcome, Glenn. Welcome to the team. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Uh, I know you've been a you've been a fan of like of pops and everything for a while, so you know like I've been waiting to bring you onto the show. We were actually supposed to make a segment for him just for pops, but Sammy took that over because she's a big pop head too. Yeah. But I'm glad to see Pops that you... on that one. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're here. And I and we did an interview. We did a quick interview with Rocky, the Blue Ranger. Yeah. And I can't wait to see everybody else's uh, impression. I I loved the interview. I, I recorded it. You did a great job for your first time out. You got your feet wet. How do you yes, feel? I did. I'm um, still a little like. Shaky, but a good shaky. You know, um, I got vaccinated. You know, it, it's fine. Um, Where did you get vaccinated? <laughs> that's, what, that's what she said. <laughs> I don't know why she would say that, but, you know, she said something. But anyways, I'm still a little shaky. Like, I'm still excited. Um, it's not the first time that I met him, but this was probably the first time that I actually had a longer interaction with him. Real cool dude. I've um, watched him since the very first episode back in 94, uh, and it was an amazing experience. I enjoyed it. Me at 34 years old, I still feel like that little kid. It's amazing. And yeah, man, I'm just like rambling on and on, but you know, that's how good this was. That's how we awesome. roll in the Nerdy Life show, guys. Like... Oh, yeah. So. God, I love that anxiety. But I, we, we had that anxiety when I met uh, Larry Kenny, the voice of Lionel, when I was vibrating like a human vibrator. My sister was laughing, holding the camera the whole time. So, it's very adult rated. Yes. Yes. Oh, we, that's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, thank you again. Thank you for joining the team. I'm gonna be. We're My gonna be pleasure. Doing, thank you for having this me is, on. This is gonna be the the combo from from now on until further notice. So. Until so, I screw up. <laughs> Guys. Which will happen. Nerdy Life Show for life. Talk to y'all later. See you guys next week. Word.